to another salesing.com rules discussion. In this series, we're breaking down the 2021 to 2024 racing rules of sailing, a few rules at a time. This series is an update to the Fair Sailing Initiative sponsored by the ILYA in 2018. Our thanks to UK sailmakers for generating the animated scenarios. This video covers rules 19 and 20, the rules that apply at obstructions. Remember, these rules are in Part 2, Section C of the rules, and don't apply at a starting mark surrounded by navigable water. Let's start with the definition of an obstruction. The first part says that an obstruction is an object that you can't pass without a substantial course change when you are one hull length away from it. All of the objects shown are obstructions to the blue boat. The object doesn't have to be large. In some cases, as we'll see, a mark can be an obstruction. The second part includes items that can be passed only on one side, such as the pier. It also includes areas, objects, or lines designated by the race committee, which might include shallow or rocky areas. The terms objects or lines were added to the definition in the 2021 rules. The third part says that racing boats are not obstructions unless other boats are required to keep clear of her. This includes capsized boats, which Rule 22 tells us to avoid. The last sentence mentions a continuing obstruction. It doesn't define continuing, but think of a shoreline. A moving vessel is not a continuing obstruction. Let's look at situations where another boat racing may or may not be an, uh, an obstruction. In this situation, is yellow an obstruction to blue? The answer is no for two reasons. First, blue is more than one hull length away from yellow. Second, blue would not need to make a substantial course change to safely avoid yellow. How about this situation? Is yellow an obstruction to blue? The answer is yes. Blue is within one hull length and needs to make a substantial course change to avoid yellow. Note that blue needs to anticipate this situation well before yellow actually becomes an obstruction. As we'll see, the rules allow blue to act early enough to avoid a collision. Now let's look at Rule 19. Note that Rule 19 addresses room to pass an obstruction. Rule 20 addresses room to tack at an obstruction. We'll cover Rule 19 in two parts. Here's Rule 19.1. Take a moment to read it. First notice that the rule tells us that Rule 19 applies between two boats at an obstruction. There are two exceptions where Rule 19 does not apply at an obstruction. The first is at a mark that the boats have to round in the same direction. In the drawing, the mark is an obstruction to blue, but Rule 18 addresses these situations. The second exception also concerns Rule 18, when another boat is an obstruction. An example is overlap boats that tacked within the zone. In the situation shown, yellow is an obstruction to blue, but Rule 19 does not apply. Blue does not get room to pass yellow. When we cover Rule 20, we'll see that surprisingly, blue does get room to tack if she needs to in order to avoid green. Finally, Rule 19 always applies at a continuing obstruction like a shore and Rule 18 does not apply. Now let's look at Rule 19.2. We'll just read through it here and show examples in the next few slides. Part A says that the right-of-way boat gets to choose which side she wants to pass an obstruction. This is important, as we'll see shortly. Part B says that if the boats are overlapped, the outside boat needs to give the inside boat room between her and the obstruction unless she has been unable to do so from the time the overlap began. Part C discourages boats from trying to force their way inside at a continuing obstruction like a shore. In summary, it doesn't give any rights to a boat that comes from behind and gets between another boat and the continuing obstruction. Let's take a look at some examples to apply Rule 19. Here's the first one. Yellow and blue are approaching the race committee boat at the starting line prior to the start. Is blue required to give yellow room to pass inside the race committee boat? The answer is no. The preamble to section C states that rules 18, 19, and 20 do not apply at a starting mark surrounded by navigable water 
or at its anchor line from the time the boats are approaching them to start until they have passed them. Here's the next example. Yellow and blue are approaching a starting line that has one end on shore. This is obviously not common, but does Rule 19 apply in this situation? The answer is yes. The shore is a continuing obstruction. Rule 19.1 states in part that at a continuing obstruction, Rule 19 always applies and Rule 18 does not. Even though this is a starting line, the preamble to Section C doesn't apply since the starboard end of the line is not surrounded by navigable water. Here's example three. Yellow and blue are reaching to the next mark with a government mark in their path. A government mark is a navigation mark, not a racing mark, so Rule 18 does not apply here. Yellow establishes an overlap from behind and is bound by Rule 17 to sail no higher than her proper course. As the boats approach the government mark, Yellow decides to sail to windward of the mark. Blue alleges Yellow broke Rule 17 because she could have sailed to leeward of the mark. Is Yellow required to sail leeward of the obstruction? The answer is no. Rule 19.2 states in part that the right-of-way boat may choose to pass an obstruction on either side. Yellow is the right-of-way boat because she is lured. Two more examples for Rule 19. Blue and green approach yellow, a starboard boat, and an obstruction. Green wants to duck yellow, and blue wants to tack. Blue hails for room to tack and then tacks. Green protests, alleging blue broke Rule 19.2. Did blue break Rule 19.2? No, again, the right-of-way boat may choose to pass an obstruction on either side. Blue is the right-of-way boat. However, as we'll see shortly, this situation also involves Rule 20. The sequence of events here did not follow Rule 20. Could blue duck behind yellow while forcing green to tack? The answer is no. Rule 19.2b requires the outside boat to give the inside boat room between her and the obstruction. Once Blue decides to duck, she must also give Green room to duck. Here's the last Rule 19 example. Yellow and Blue are sailing along a shore. Blue overlaps Yellow from clear astern. Blue then asks Yellow to head up, alleging she is entitled to room. Is Yellow required to give room to Blue? The answer is no. The boats are passing the shore, which is a continuing obstruction. Blue was clear astern and became overlapped inside without room to pass. Therefore, Rule 19.2c applies, and Blue is not entitled to room. Now let's look at Rule 20. Note the title, Room to Tack at an Obstruction. The rule has four parts. We'll take them one at a time. Take a moment to read 20.1. The first part says that a boat may hail for room to tack. If you're blue in this situation, you need to say the words room to tack to comply with the rule. The rest of 20.1 gives requirements you must meet before hailing for room to tack. Part A says you must be approaching an obstruction and will soon need to make a substantial course change to avoid it. So you don't have to be within one hull length to hail, and obviously this would be too late in most cases. Part B says you must be sailing close hauled or above. This prevents you from forcing the outside boat to give you more room than needed. The last part says you can't hail for room to tack at a mark if another boat that's fetching the mark would have to change course to avoid you. This applies only if the obstruction is a mark, not another boat. Here's rule 20.2 which tells us the next steps after a boat hails for room to tack. These steps are carefully written and must be followed to minimize confusion and prevent accidents. First, the boat that hails needs to give the other boat time to respond. You can't tack immediately after hailing. Second, the hailed boat, yellow in this case, must respond even if the hail did not meet the requirements of Rule 20.1. This is the safe thing to do. If Yellow believes the hail broke Rule 20.1, she should respond first and then protest. Part C says that the hailed boat has two options to respond. Either tack immediately or say the words you tack to the inside boat. 
Yellow can do either of these, but if she responds verbally, she must use the words, you tack. If she says that, then she must give blue room to tack. Part D says that when the hail boat, yellow in this case, responds, then the inside boat, blue, must tack as soon as possible. This prevents blue from gaining an advantage. Part E may seem strange since it involves mark room, but it's there to address a specific situation at the windward mark. We won't get into detail here. There's a link to an example in the description. If we add another boat, it gets a little more complicated. Take a moment to read Rule 20.3. In the situation shown, yellow needs to tack to allow blue to tack. So the first part says that once blue hails, rule 20.3 allows yellow to pass on the hail to green. The second part says that yellow can hail green even if she could pass the obstruction and even if blue hasn't tacked yet. This is because yellow needs to give blue room to tack while avoiding her. And finally, when yellow hails green, the same steps we covered in Rule 20.2 apply between yellow and green. The 2021 rules added Rule 20.4. This rule enhances safety by allowing boats to use other signals, such as arm waving, to communicate in loud environments. This alternate method could be specified in the Notice of Race. Let's take a look at some examples to apply Rule 20. Here's the first one. Yellow and blue are approaching the shore, sailing close halt. Blue hails room to tack. Yellow tacks immediately, and blue begins her tack as soon as yellow does. Was yellow required to hail in response to blue's hail? No, not if yellow tacks as soon as possible. If yellow does not tack as soon as possible, then she is required to hail, you tack. After yellow tacked, could blue have sailed further before tacking? No. Rule 20.2D states that when a hail boat responds, the hailing boat shall tack as soon as possible. This rule prevents the hailing boat from gaining a tactical advantage. Here's example two. Yellow and blue are approaching a shore sailing close hauled. Blue hails room to tack. Yellow hails you tack and ducks blue. Could yellow tack instead of ducking after responding you tack? Yes, Rule 20.2c requires yellow to either tack as soon as possible or reply you tack. This allows yellow to either tack or duck blue. Here's the last example. Blue, green, and gray are approaching yellow. Blue hails room to tack. Green passes on the hail to gray by saying room to tack. Gray responds, you tack. Blue and green tack and gray ducks. Was Gray required to respond to Green's hail? Yes, Gray was required to respond to the hail, either by tacking as soon as possible or by hailing you tack. In accordance with Rule 20.3, once Green passes on the hail, Rule 20.2 applies between Gray and Green. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like our videos, please subscribe. Also visit our website at salesin.com for much more content and some unique sailing products.